What's going on guys? Welcome back to, oh yeah, another video with some black gloves over here. Yes, if you're wondering why I'm wearing these, well, it's time. We're gonna do the first oil change on the Ram. Yes, I know you're probably thinking, hey, what are you talking about? This thing doesn't even have 3,000 miles on it. You're right. This thing has, I wanna say 27, let me see if it will, uh, if it will show me here. I think 2,700, there we go, I'll let it count down. 2,751. And reason why I'm doing the oil change on this, well, it's because I'm gonna show you. If you guys remember on the Duramax, and if you guys uh, remember you guys asking me, Eddie, uh, you know, what are some pros and cons to deleting or not deleting? Well, here's, let me show you one of the pros, my main pro of why I prefer a deleted truck over, you know, an emissions truck. I'm gonna pull this dipstick right now, and I'm gonna show you the oil that's, you know, not even 3,000 miles old. When my Duramax, I can go by 6,000 miles, because I did, and the oil was still crystal clean. Now, I'm gonna show you this oil real quick. Let me uh, grab a rag here. All right, we're gonna get up here. Holy dipstick, it's gonna be hard to do an oil change video for you guys, but, okay, I'll put that there. Let me show you how black and disgusting this oil is. Look at this. Come on. Focus. All right, there we go. Look at that. Look how black and just disgusting that is. I mean, that's that's a no no. And here's the worst part. I'm gonna do an oil change on this thing. We'll pull the dipstick. You know, start it, check it, and it's still going to be black and dirty like this. That's my main pro, I should say, guys, to deleting your truck is the engine is going to stay so clean. And your oil is still going to stay so clean, everything's going to get properly lubricated. How are you going to lubricate anything good with all this soot? Look at this, and all this crap that's going into the engine. I mean, yeah, no, I'm not buying it. So, uh, well, I guess you guys know when they finally get some parts for this thing, you know what's going to happen. All right, now we're going to use our handy dandy pan and pull the drain plug out right there. <laughs> I got you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Right, come on, come on, come on. Let me hear you say, Eddie, you got me. I thought you were going to pull that. You were going to go crazy. Yada, yada. I don't know. I'm not pulling that. This right here, guys, is the oil pan. And it looks like it is just a 3 8 drive. Uh, that's pretty nice. So we'll just pull it on out. 3 8 drive. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, now that it, we have our handy dandy uh, snap on. 3H drive. This thing just sucks at focusing, so sorry about that. Uh, we're going to drain the oil on this thing. I'm going to set it up so you guys can see how black it is. Alright guys, camera doesn't want to stay up, so I'm going to just uh, hold it and show you and hopefully just don't splash all over me and burn the crap out of myself because it is hot. But I just want to show you how black it's going to be. Oh man. That's just ugly. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, oh, we had we had a little pisser over there. Had a little pisser. All right, it's not bad. God, the smell. I wish you guys could smell all this soot that's in this oil. I mean, this is just ugh, hurts. Hurts my heart, guys. Hurts my heart. And um, when you guys do an oil change, note to self, I don't know why I forgot. I usually put a rag right there so I can set this down and without getting the floor full of oil. But I didn't, so we're going to set it down and get the floor full of oil. Look at that, guys. This is just what I wiped up from the floor. Black. No bueno. No bueno, my friend. Now, we're going to change the filter. And for you Dodge guys out there that are doing uh, oil changes on these, I highly... Highly recommend you guys to go get this tool. Let me grab it for you. I'll be right back. You don't want to make a mess, and you're like me, because the worst thing on these filters, you drop it and you bring it on the side. Instead of you having to, you know, go up here, pull the air filter out, do all this crap, get one of these. I'll put the link down below. Uh, all the links, everything that I purchased for my trucks are all down below. So I will put the link for this down below, but you drop that, put this cap on it, tighten it up, and you can pull this out without the oil going all over the place you know when you have to turn it out um, this thing makes life a lot easier and it's cheap I got on it I believe uh, Amazon 
forgot how much, but it was not expensive at all. Okay guys, so you see here, I have dropped the filter, took the filter off, right there. You just set it, set it right in there, and uh, makes it easier. I'm trying to get this light up here for you guys, but then it makes it easier to stick this cap right over here, just like this. Don't have to tighten it, just snug it. That's it. And then now, you can pull it right out. Look at that. That's my kind of oil change. No mess. Boom. I mean, whoever invented this, well, kudos to you, man. Genius, genius idea because when you pull this off, you got no oil spillage, no drippage, nothing. Everything stays clean, and I love it like that. So now, and, and also the good thing what I like is when you get the new filter, I like to fill it up. You don't have to. Hey, how you doing there, partner? I want my flashlight. Oh, you want your flashlight? No. You, you want to use my floodlight right here? No. You want your own flashlight? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, guys. Got to get him his flashlight. Come on. Let's get your flashlight. So, um, like I was saying here. Uh, and also why I like that is because I like to put oil, you know, fill the filter up first. Um, do you have to? Yes, my son has the new stream light, the HL, the high lumen one. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah. Okay, there you go. You're welcome. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> hey, you punk. So, uh, like I was saying, you don't have to fill the uh, filter up full of oil. But I personally like to, so it has oil pressure right away. Uh, but I mean, it's not a big deal if you do. But when you have this, it's nice because you can fill it, close this up, and then uh, let it, you know, just sit right in there. Then lift it up, you're good to go. So now let's go get the oil and the filter. Okay, guys, and if you're wondering what uh, I use, I'm going to use the Rotella. This is their new T6 Synthetic. And yes, I remember you guys telling me, Eddie, why don't you ever run synthetic in your Duramax? Well, the Duramax did not like synthetic. The Duramax liked the uh, 15W40. So for the uh, Ram, I like to use the Rotella T6, their new one, and I use a 5W40 with a Napa Gold Ram filter. And what is it? What? Here, hold this filter. And again, guys, if you're wondering, the part number is 7620. Uh, for the Duramax, if you get the Napa Gold, part number is 7202. Uh, for the Ford guys, I don't know. Can't help you with that. But now let's get the oil. We got the filter. Let's go. Don't drop it. Come on. All right, open the filter up. So, guys, what I'd like to do is confirm. Open it up. There you go. Take the filter out. Remember what that is? What is that? What do you mean you don't know? Oil filter. What? No, it's not yuck. It's clean. You can grab it. It's okay. It doesn't matter if it's yuck or not. What is that? You remember what that's called? Yeah. What is it called? Oil filter. Yeah, good job. It's my helper right here, guys. Come on, take it out. Come on, you can do it. Don't drop it. There you go. Good job. Okay, so now, guys, what I like to do anytime I do do an oil change. Yeah, hold one second, son. It, yeah, we're going to put the oil in the truck once we put the filter on. I like to compare, make sure size is the same, holes the same. Uh, so it looks like... Okay, go see mommy. She's inside. It looks like uh, the only difference here, guys, that I see in the Napa Gold filter and the OEM filter is this has more holes in it. So this has three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This has six holes, and this has bigger holes. The Napa Gold one has smaller holes. Um, same thing with the Duramax filter I noticed too, but I mean, I ran this filter forever, never had any issues, so I don't know. You guys comment down below. Uh, what do you see here? You know, would you run this? Would you not run it? Would you stick OEM? Uh, let me know. Now also, a lot of you guys asked me, Eddie, why don't you use Wix uh, filters? So, our Napa Gold filter is made by Wix. Um, you know, I don't know, you guys can research if you want, but uh, what I mainly look at is I see right here, you see where it says man plus ML. Um, that is, you know, who makes Wix. 
or they used to. I don't know if anything changed. I don't know if owners changed. I don't know much about filters, but I do know that uh, our filters are a Wix filter, one way, one Wix way. Um, so I don't know. You guys comment down below. You can argue this. Uh, let me know if I'm right. Let me know if I'm wrong. But we have always uh, sold these as Wix filters. Wix is making them for us. Um, you know, and I have noticed if you go get a Wix filter, you know, with the same part number for RAM, it looks identical. It has the same amount of uh, inlet holes. And uh, Wix, is, what I've noticed, always had smaller holes. Now, you know, is that going to uh, affect the truck? Um, you know, that's something that I'll let you guys comment down below and uh, you let me know. But I've been running these uh, Napa Gold slash Wix filters, you can call them, for a long time. Never had any issues with them. But now let's uh, get back to this oil change. All right, guys, so probably can't see me right now. But like I said, I like to uh, fill it up first. And yeah, that's, no, don't do it like that because when you start filling, it's probably going to fall. So make sure uh, you hold the filter and start the pour. And guys, also when you uh, are putting oil in your truck, car, whatever it is, uh, make sure even though it's brand new in the box, uh, make sure you look and uh, you're pouring the proper oil into your truck or car. So I have seen right out of the box, brand new, uh, people pull it out and one of them does not match. So just, you know, it doesn't hurt to, uh, whoa there, whoa there, it doesn't hurt to uh, double check. All right guys, now, yes, and if you're wondering why I have two, yes, because I'm sure nobody does this, but I like to. This is for the dirty one, see the little black soot in there, and this is for the clean filter. So we're going to... Put this on, just like that. We've already put some oil uh, around the O-ring. Again, just snug it up. Doesn't have to be, you know, crazy tight. And now let's go put the uh, filter in. Okay, so now that we got the new filter in, we're going to just stick her on in here. Set her, set her in here where she's nice and flat. It's very hard, guys, trying to do this with a camera, but I don't know if you can see that. So she's sitting flat, just like that. So now I'm gonna take that off and just screw her on in. All right, and just like that, guys, filters in. Uh, all I do is I just uh, tighten it by hand. I don't, uh, you know, take any pliers or anything. I just use the pliers to pull them off, but just to tighten it. Hi, how you doing, son? Uh, just to uh, tighten it, I tighten it hand tight, and that's it. Now let's put the uh, oil in. Now, guys, get your handy dandy fuddle, and uh, before you put oil in it, make sure what I like to do. Spray a little brake cleaner in here, you know, wipe it down. Uh, make sure it's clean, you know, look at that. Make sure uh, you got no debris or anything like that. All right, guys, oil's in, dipstick's back in. Now let's go uh, start this thing up and, uh, well, make sure we got no, uh, no oil uh, coming down from the bottom. That'd be pretty bad. So now let's get her on in. Old rammer here. All right. Baby, Look at that we got oil pressure. That's a very good sign. Very good sign. Oh, and it's and it's still low too. So you can see how it's for an oil change. It's not that clean, but uh, hmm, looks like we need more. So I guess, guys, uh, anybody with these 19 high outputs look like looks like it takes more than uh, what do we got? Four uh, 12 quarts. Hmm, it's a little strange. I'm gonna I'm gonna check this one more time and see. All right, just checked it again, guys. Yeah, it looks like it's about a half a quart low. So uh, maybe this truck, these trucks take 12 and a half quarts. Man, it's a lot of oil because this thing still needs half a quart, and we got no more. So we are going to have to call the uh, local Napa store and get some more oil over here. Let's see the percentage. So the percentage on the oil, I believe. It said, where was it here? Let's see, to reset, because I've never uh, reset it on here, but I assume it's probably not uh, that difficult to reset. Let me close this. All right, it's fuel filter, there we go. So it says the oil is 82%. Um, you know, I yeah, I'm not buying that. I mean, that if I waited, who knows how long that would take. 
uh, oil will be, be disgusting. So that's a no-no for me. So let's uh, hold to reset. Ba bam! Oil is now at 100%. So it looks like I'll probably change this oil when it gets to maybe 50%. I will never, nor have I ever, uh, gone that low on any of my uh, diesels. There you have it, guys. That's it. She's done. Oil change is good, complete. That's all I got for you. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.